Hello guys and gals and welcome to another episode of Unique Items. Today we're going to be looking at an item that was requested. Um, I got a YouTube comment from somebody who wanted to specifically see a video on the Herald of Sacrum Shield. And while I do plan to do every single unique item in the game, I'm not above doing uh, some videos specifically if you guys have requests. So if you, you know what, down in the comments, if you guys are interested in a specific item uh, that you would like to see before some others, uh, just let me know. I will pull it out of my my ridiculously large stash of characters and I will, uh, I'll, I will do a video on it for you. So today we're going to look at what is probably one of the best shields for Paladin. Pretty much bar none. Um, it is a nightmare version shield, or a, an exceptional version shield. It can be socketed with one socket, so to keep that in mind. And it does have some variables, too, which we will go over. Uh, the Herald of Zacharum shield, because it is a lower level shield, um, does actually drop in a lot of places. Um, it does have a little bit of a, of a restriction, and we'll go over that toward the end of the video, and we'll talk about um, sort of the restrictions that the Herald of Sacrum Shield has. Um, we're also going to take a look at the upgraded version as well, so stay tuned for that. So uh, first off, what we have here is a very, very nice shield, just in general. Um, the defense on the shield is relatively high, and um, we have a relatively high block chance, as you can see, even with no smite. Or sorry, uh, no uh, holy shield. We still have 75% block chance, which is uh, which is very very nice. Um, I think just in general having um, holy shield makes things a lot better. But uh, but having a 75% block chance without holy shield certainly is uh, is beneficial because it means your dexterity level can be lower and still hit that 75% chance. As you can see, I only have 150 dexterity and I'm at 60% block chance without holy shield. And uh, and if I pop holy shield on, I should be a little bit higher. Of course, I actually I don't have the man <laughs> I don't have the mana to to actually cast holy shield. That's pretty funny. Uh, we also have a smite damage of 20 to 28, uh, which isn't really the greatest, uh, but we can upgrade that, so don't worry. Uh, we have a strength requirement of 89, which is relatively low, a level requirement of 42, which is, again, relatively low, and, uh, and you might be asking yourself, well, if this is such a low-level item, why is it so good? Well, as we go over the statistics of this item, you will see. So we have plus two combat skills, which is absolutely amazing. I mean, granted, people generally like plus to all skills better than they like plus to a specific tree, but combat skills is one of the best trees to have skills in. Um, if you were to rate the three different trees, you could say um, defensive is probably the worst. Actually, no, it is the worst. Uh, offensive would be the second best, and most people would rather prefer combat skills to either of the aura trees. And then, of course, obviously they would like plus to all skills as opposed to just simply plus to a particular tree, because that's more beneficial. But having combat skills is nice. But then look, it also has plus two to all skills. So we've got plus four to the combat tree and plus two to everything else, which is freaking awesome! I mean, it's just right off the bat, we've already got some amazing statistics. Then we've got 30% faster block rate, which is very, very good because it's going to make sure that you're attacking uh, much quicker. So what this means is, is that when you actually make a, a, a blocking attack, you, you actually block something, you're going to use your animation quicker and you're going to be able to block again. All right. So when you get your blocking up high enough, like on a paladin, you can get your blocking up to one frame. You're going to be blocking so fast, you're going to be like... Ding, 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 which is, which is great. One frame blocking is absolutely amazing, and it's definitely worth it. Uh, we also have a 30% increased chance of blocking. So not only does this have a really good block chance already of uh, essentially 82%, um, which, is, which is above the 75% cap, um, you know, it also is giving us more, So it, which is very, very nice. So in total, like in total, between the block chance on the shield and the increased blocking, we've got an 82% block chance on this shield, which is just amazing. Uh, we also have a 20% bonus to attack rating, which is freaking huge. So when you are looking at attack rating, um, attack rating is a multiplicative formula. So as you can see here, I have 1,470 attack rating with no equipment. If I put on a, uh, a zeal, which has a bonus to attack rating of 200%, you'll see that my attack rating goes up to 2,940. 
and then I throw the Herald of Zacharum shield on, you'll see it goes up even more. So every single point of attack rating that I add to this character is going to affect how my character works. So let me see if I can grab a uh, item that has attack ratings. Here we go. This one has 150 to attack rating. Um, so let's put on the 150 to attack rating sword, and you'll notice we're at 3,540. And then we throw on the shield, now we're at 4,071. So the extra attack rating that this shield offers is actually pretty dang sweet, especially since it comes from a non-weapon. And um, it's going to multiply every attack rating you have by 20%. So if you put a 100 attack rating charm in your inventory, it's going to go up to 120. If you put on a sword that has 100 attack rating, it's going to go up to 120. And, uh, and, and it's just absolutely amazing for allowing you to hit your targets. Uh, and as a melee character, if you are a melee character specifically like a Zealer or a Vengeance Paladin or something like that, you need attack rating, um, it's just it's, it's really nice to have that extra bonus. We also have 200% enhanced defense. Now this is a variable, and uh, it does vary between 150 to 200%. And uh, it is important to remember that when you're looking at this particular shield. Um, so if you happen to find one and you'd like to upgrade it and you'd like to turn it into your like mainstay shield, you might be a little bit hesitant if it's a 150% variable. Now, this particular shield um, is very, very awesome because it also has it also has strength and vitality on it. So um, we also have this uh, this 20 to strength and 20 to vitality um, on this, and uh, and this is actually really, really sweet because as a gilded shield, if you're not a smiter and you have no intention of using smite, you don't need to upgrade this shield. And it only has a strength requirement of 89, and it gives you 20 strength. And, uh, and this is just absolutely great because it makes it so that you can wield other pieces of equipment much easier. Um, you can, in fact, use this on low-strength low builds. Like, for instance, if you were a, uh, a Hammerton, you could use it on a low-strength Hammerton build. Or if you were a um, Fist of the Heavens Paladin, you could use it on a low-strength Fist of the Heavens build. Um, or maybe you're just a low-strength zealer and you're trying to work out a low-strength zeal setup. You could use this to help you out with that particular situation. I mean, it's just great all around. Of course, you probably wouldn't want to upgrade it because if you upgrade it, the strength requirement is going to go up. Uh, we also have the 20 vitality, which is, of course, very nice because it's going to give you extra life. And, um, and we also have all resistances 50, which is a flat amount. So just 50 all res. So if it's not, if it wasn't already good enough from the fact that it's got plus four to combat skills, plus two to all paladin skills, massive block chance, attack rating bonuses, strength bonuses, vitality bonuses, it also has all resistances 50. It's literally like the best shield you can put on pretty much most paladins. Um, and, and it's just, it's, it also has a socket, so you can throw something else in there. You can throw a diamond in there or an umrune, and you can get even more resistances. Um, if you threw an umrune in there, you would get 22 more resistances on this particular piece of equipment, which would bring your 50 up to 72. Very, very awesome shield. All right. Now, this shield can be upgraded. And, uh, and what does that mean, upgrading the shield? Well, I actually have an upgraded version of the shield on my Paladin. And uh, let's go take a look at it, shall we? Now, mine is less than perfect. Um, this is on my online character, of course. The one that I was looking at before was on an offline character. You can make anything you want offline, but, uh, but online, not so much. So this particular shield, um, I upgraded to the Zacharum shield. And you'll notice that it, the smite damage has gone up from 20 to 28 to 46 to 46, which is pretty darn sweet. Uh, that increase in smite damage is rather large, and when you apply your holy shield to the calculation, um, you're going to be looking at 127 to 130 smite damage, which is pretty darn nice. And uh, I'm not really a smiter. So, uh, so do keep that in mind. I am I just simply a yet. paladin who, um, I'm just simply a paladin who uses vengeance. Um, however, having a nice smite damage is useful to me when I go into the ubers, and uh, and it specifically helps me out. Now, I'm missing my amulet here, so I'm missing some plus to skills, but um, but it, the smite damage is pretty consistent with uh, which what you would normally see. I'm running level 26 smite. Um, it would be a little bit higher than that, but it's okay. Now. 
other than the um, the smite damage increase, you also have the strength requirement increase to 142, which can be a bit of a detriment if you are a low strength character, as I was talking about earlier. Um, and we also have a required level of 68, which is uh, much higher than the 42. So so keep in mind before you upgrade your Herald of Zacharum to a Zacharum shield from the Gilded Shield that you are going to be... Um, losing some things along with gaining some things so you gain a little bit of defense you gain a little bit of smite damage and you lose out on the strength and the level requirement um, now this is not all so this particular shield also comes in a uh, ethereal version and we're going to take a look at that next but you're on your paladin you find yourself an ethereal herald of zacharum shield and you're like, what do I do with this thing? It's ethereal. I can't use it. It's going to break. Well, let me tell you something. It's a great shield. It's a great shield even when it's ethereal. And you can upgrade it to the higher version. So as you can see here, we have the ethereal version. And uh, and we want to do something with this, right? We want to uh, we want to use it. But how do we use it? Well, we can put a Zod rune in it. So we have a Zod rune right here, and I could put this Zod rune in here. And um, and I could make this indestructible. And in doing so, I would create a very awesome shield. Now that my Herald of Zacharum shield is ethereal, I've got not only a really cool shield that does really nice stats, but as you can see here, it also uh, is ethereal on my arm too. You can kind of just barely see through it, which is pretty cool. But maybe I want to upgrade this. Maybe I don't want to use a gilded shield. Maybe I'd rather have the uh, the higher smite damage on the uh, on the Zacharum shield, I believe is what it's called. So what I'm going to need is I'm going to need a Lemrune, a Korune, and a perfect diamond. And uh, and this will allow me to create a a higher version of this shield that is also still zotted. And now we've got our Herald of Zacharum shield with uh, 777 defense. Look at that. We, uh, I think we just won the lotto. Our uh, slot machines. That's right. We just pulled the slots and we got cha-ching, seven, cha-ching, seven, cha-ching, seven. I know that's not how slot machines work. <laughs> but all in all, the Herald of Zacharum shield is an amazing shield no matter what condition you find it in. Whether it be ethereal, whether it be a regular, you know, whether the um, the ED is very low, it's still a very awesome shield even if it spawns with the lowest ED possible of 150%. It just happens to be a really amazing shield. All in all, if you happen to find a Herald of Zacharum shield and you're not a paladin, I'm sure you'll be able to trade it for something that you would actually want. And if you are a paladin, then consider using it, because it's probably one of the best shields you're going to find, bar none. It's uh, it's way better than a spirit, in my opinion. Um, the only way that a spirit wins out over a Herald of Zacharum shield is faster cast rate. So if you are specifically a character who needs faster cast rate, then maybe the spirit could edge out over it by just a tiny bit. But uh, but honestly, in my opinion, uh, with the way that Herald of Zacharum works, how it can have 72 to all resistances, how you could customize it in whatever fashion you would like, these things make the Herald of Zacharum shield one of the most amazing shields that you can put on. And uh, for instance, if you take a look at my Herald of Zacharum shield that I put on my paladin, um, I socketed it with a, uh, a very nice jewel, something that I found along my travels. And um, when you see this jewel, you'll be like, oh yeah, that's a pretty good choice. Although you could choose other choices. Now, my paladin is a conviction paladin, and because conviction paladins don't actually use enhanced damage, um, I went with a 15% increased attack speed uh, plus 12 max damage jewel, which I found, which was pretty sweet. And if I ever happen to find a better one, I can always take that out, put it in there. But, uh, but you'll notice that my damage... It's going to go way down by taking off the shield. I lose nearly 400 on the top end, and I lose uh, nearly 100 on the bottom end. And that has to do with the plus the skills, the uh, the the plus maximum damage that I have on there now, and uh, and the strength. So not only does the shield give you a rather large defensive capability, um, you can also socket it with a very nice jewel, which will help your offensive capability as well. My attack speed, my, uh, my, you know, just in general, my damage. 
and uh, and it's just it's just a very sweet shield to have all around. I think most people who manage to find themselves a Herald of Zachroom usually end up using it on their Paladin. And uh, if you don't have a Paladin, hang on to it and uh, trade it. And if you find an Ethereal version, don't uh, don't despair because people actually do look for the ethereal version as well and if you happen to find a perfect ethereal version with the 200% ed um it's going to be worth a pretty penny anyway as always i do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos and um, the last thing i want to do before i leave you all is i want to talk about where to find the herald of sack room shield I, I i sometimes i forget this but i'm not going to forget it this time so, uh, so what we have to do is we have to look at uh, Treasure Clash, and uh, Treasure Clash is a uh, mechanic in Diablo which basically tells you where an item can drop. So if we search for the Herald of Zacharum Shield, uh, we will find out that the Herald of Zacharum Shield is a TC Class 51 item. Uh, TC class 51 will drop from pretty much any area that is high enough to uh, to have monsters that are level 51 or up. And the easiest way to look at this is to go to the area level uh, for D2. And if you take a look at the area levels, you will find that there are tons and tons of areas in the game that are treasure class 52 or higher. And it doesn't even necessarily need to be 52. See, here's the thing. When you're in a level 50 zone and you fight an elite, elites are always two levels higher than the area level that they're in. So if you're in an area level that's level 50 and you fight an elite, he will be level 52 and he will be high enough to drop a Herald's Act Room Shield. Just as an example, um, the Spider Cavern in Act 3 is level 50 and any elite in the Spider Cavern could potentially drop a Herald's Act Room Shield. Um, the Flare Dungeon, however, is level 51, and all the monsters there will have a chance to drop a Herald of Zachroom Shield. Now, how do you actually get the Herald of Zachroom Shield? Well, the thing is, is that to get the Herald of Zachroom Shield, you have to actually have the base item drop. So, the base item is the Gilded Shield, not the Zachroom Shield, as you see here. That's because I've upgraded this to the Elite version. So, the Exceptional Shield, the Gilded Shield, is the one that has to drop. So if you ever see a gilded shield drop on the ground, whether it's white, blue, rare, or uh, I don't think there's a set version, but uh, whatever it, that gilded shield is, it had a chance to roll as a Herald of Zachary shield if you were in the appropriate levels. So keep on uh, trying to find one. Um, as long as you are in pretty much Act 3 Nightmare and above, you'll probably have a chance to get one. There's not a lot of zones anywhere below Act 3 Nightmare that can drop Herald of Zachroom Shield. Um, if you like in the very beginning of Act 3, the Spider Forest is actually a little bit too low uh, to drop the Herald of Zachroom Shield, and then Arcane Sanctuary in Act 2 is also too low. Um, you might be able to get one in Talrosh's tomb, so there's a good chance you could get one in the tomb or from Duriel himself, but Duriel drops tend to be rather trollish. But just keep in mind that uh, once you get to about Act 3 and up in Nightmare Difficulty, you're going to start to see opportunities for the Gilded Shield to drop. And uh, once those Gilded Shields start dropping, you're going to be looking for the Herald of Sacrum Shield. Um... I do uh, wish you luck, though, because uh, in the entire time that we've been playing since launch, I believe we only found one Herald of Zachroom Shield, and that was in the cow level in Hell Difficulty. Um, I believe some other people have found him in our kinship, but that was the only one that I personally saw drop. Anyway, as always, thanks for watching, and keep watching.